Hello, welcome, and boy have I got something to show you today. Hello my friends, welcome back. Like I said, today I've got something that you might be interested in. If you remember, in a few videos, well, a long time ago now, I got this light, yeah, to light up the dandelions, the seeds and the water droplets. Well, I think I've gone one step better than that this, this time. And I really believe this can change your macro photography even more. So if you've never seen this one, I'll leave a link up there or there somewhere, wherever it is. And I'll show you what I've got in mind for you. So when I was out shopping today, I bought this. All this is, is a smart LED cha colour changing bulb. And what it is, is actually, it's, it's got, it gives you a daylight feel, it gives you a daylight look, but also gives you changes of colour. It's just a normal bulb. But it comes with this little remote that you can change colours with. And all I've done is got this little clip here, this little clip socket. I just put it in and turn it on. Now, the best about these bulbs is they do not get hot. So I can lie this down on the side, I can hang it up, I can clip it somewhere, you know, I can put it anywhere, I can hang it. But what I love about it is I can also change the colours when it works. There you go. So this is a big game change for me because when we was using this, this was okay, but the white lights in the middle makes it really harsh sometimes. It gives you eye lights where this is more of a natural looking colour. So the white is actually a daylight glow bulb, so it's more natural light and it doesn't get it isn't harsh, so it isn't gonna get your eye lights, a lot of eye lights. And like I said, do not get warm, where other light bulbs get warm. You can have it flashing and one thing or another, but I don't want it for that. You can also turn the power down. All the way down, look. Let's have a look at red, you know what I mean? So you can all change the colours on whatever you want. A bit brighter. So, do you think I can use this for my macro photography? So my plan is to use this to get shots like this. So what I'm gonna do is gonna quickly set up a quick setup. When I mean quick, I mean quick, because I'm gonna do another video on how I do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get some foil, crinkle it up, like that. That's gonna be my background. Then I'm gonna get my light, simply pop it onto the light, and that way then, I've got my light reflecting. Then all I'm gonna do is get my subject, place it on here, add my water drops, and away we go. So let's see how we go.
I hope you've enjoyed those few short, that short video, should I say, and then few shots. I've really enjoyed it. Just show us what this 999 bulb can really do. Makes a massive difference. Well, I think it makes a massive difference to my photography. Like I said before, we've used a small one, which a small one's great because you can put the minutest thing on there and it gives you that beautiful light, that brilliant light. But when you want to put more light around it and light your backgrounds up, this is where this one actually comes in. Now I will be doing a video on how I'd use it because the settings are totally, totally different. Like I said, we're not using a flash now. What we're using is this. So your ISO changes, your aperture will change, meaning your shutter speed will change because we're doing more of a longer shutter speed because we're not using it. So I'm having to use this light to pull the light into the subject so we're getting it on the backgrounds. It's really simple, I say today, just simple things. I've just put that bit of fold down and turned the light on and changed it up and down and just moved things around, added water, and it works really well. And believe me, there's not much editing to it, so if you think it's all about editing, think again, because it, I don't do editing. Like I say, I'll show you all my pictures on the back of the camera, and yeah, I might, I might sharpen up a touch well done in sharpening it up. I might just darken it down a bit or lighten it up a bit. That's exposure, that's more than what I do. And just tidy a few dust spots off if I see any. That's all we really need to be doing on that one. But like I say, 9.99, you can get these off Amazon. I think I've seen them at £7.50 on Amazon, I think it is. Or you can get a pack of two for £12. Something like that, absolutely fantastic. But make sure than the ones with the remote controls on because there's about really 30 or 40 different colours once you start mixing and matching them all up. So it's ideal, but like I said, it's good because you can get the light over your subject. You can put it in the back of your subject, the front of your subject, over the top, underneath your subject. But like I said, we don't need no gels with these. So these are brilliant because other than putting gels on flashes to get the colours or trying to change them in Photoshop, you know, we don't need it. Why need it when we can get this 999 bulb, just plug it into one of those cheap plug, these cheap, uh, cheap sockets, which you can get from your DIY store. Just simple, like I say, just plug it in, turn it on, and we're away to go. And the ideal thing about it, like I say, I clip it, and it's away, it's gone, it's finished. So I hope you've enjoyed that one for today. Like I say, please put a comment in the, in the box below. Let me know which one you want me to do first. Do you want me to do more salsified seeds? Do you want me to do the feather art? Because at the minute I'm a bit more feather arty. And if you notice a lot of my pictures on my uh, social media, I'm orangey because I've got into this orange feel. I don't know why, but that's the way it goes. And thank you ever so much for all your fantastic comments from last week. I really enjoyed it. And you've given me another massive big push once again this week to get out and do more. Hence this light. But I've got more ideas in my mind than where I can actually put down on this video at the minute, but so I'm gonna get there. I will get there, don't worry. I've got plenty more to come, so I'll make sure while we're in this lockdown crap, I'll keep you busy. But what I want you to do is dust them cameras off. Yeah, get them out, please. Let's see a bit more pictures. And I've got something new coming up soon, so you'll be looking out for that. Bit of an announcement. But you know what I'm gonna say, don't ya? Until next time, yeah, please, please, please be safe, yeah? Tighten those cameras up, get them out, stay safe and happy snapping.